All right, well, today's definitely not going to be a dull moment. Representing the new merch, Scott Gun, Gunny Juice, and all the Gunny products. We love him. Today is something different. We have done unboxings before. We have a lot of fun. We get to see a lot of new young blacksmiths out there. And sometimes I think we forget that there's some, some big companies that have been out there doing it for a while. So today, let me get this beautiful apron on. I don't want to get stabbed because we got a big, big blade getting ready to happen, folks. We have here the Mizuno family from Japan, five generations, 150 years. Okay, 150 years. They've been doing this. It's not like some of the new up-and-comers, boom, pluck, you know, whatever. This is in a while. In this box, this is a big, big one. I'm excited for my wife to see this because I want my wife to use it because it's a machete. It's like a machete. This is a 300 millimeter Yuto. You can just see the, like the size of my head. It's, it's a big one. You guys got a big head. Okay, I, yeah. So just for ratio reasons, there you go. Okay, so we got the, the Mazuna, okay. So they got the, they want to make sure you don't hurt yourself later. They got the Saya. I have always enjoyed that. They pack it nice. You can already see this bad boy is, is in there. Whoa. That's an extra large card stock. Let's go ahead and get, let's go ahead and get the handle before we get the glare of this mighty beast. So we got that octagonal. It's beautiful. This is their ebony upgrade. You're moving it too much. Okay, okay. <laughs> let me let me go back. Let me go back. Let me get let me get some focus here, you people. You change it, it changes the focus. Okay. Okay, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. So this is the ebony upgrade that you can do. Mm -hmm. All right. Roll it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. she said the money shot. Okay. We got the choil. We'll go ahead and tease you with the choil. The suspense is building. Is it knife foreplay? <clears throat> you know, whatever you want to say, folks. I'm having a hard time focusing, baby. Okay. All right, this thing is, this thing is really thin for such a big knife, I gotta say. Um, that's what I was noticing, actually. Like, can, I mean, can y'all see what I'm seeing? I guess they can see what I'm seeing. Yeah, so let's do it. Okay. The suspense is built. That's a big ass knife. Well, let's go ahead and get that, uh, Okay. Get that logo. So this is the Mizuno Swedish Steel, pure Swedish Steel, um, 300 millimeter Yuto. If you actually, if you actually see right on the edge, you can probably see the packing oil. They really did a good job of like putting some packing oil on here to make sure that it doesn't rust. Swedish steel, even though it's high in carbon, I mean, it's high in carbon. It's not stainless. It it can rust. Go ahead, honey. How do you how do you, how do you mute? So what you see, we don't see. There you go. Guys. Let me go ahead and, and turn this around too for that, like right in there, so you can see that finish in there. Real, this knife is thin. All right, so let me go ahead and get a, a towel out real fast, and let's uh, let's get that packing oil. I mean, honestly, you really do want to wash it in soap and water. We're not going to do that right now for the sake of the show. Try not to cut myself. Um, yeah. So for comparison, I I don't want to hurt myself. 
that's pretty big. And so, yeah, the size is nice, huh? So when you store it, let's go ahead and put some of that away. So, um, so let's go ahead and let me sit this down so my wife can get you guys a little bit more imagery on that real fast. Okay. So, you know, the Mizuno family, it's been around, like I said, 150 years. I mean, they're from Sakai. Um, they were actually very much known for their chef knives called Sakai Uchi. And, you know, even as, as late as like the 1952 and 1980, the members of the Imperial family visited their workshop. They've been asked to make all types of, of work for statues in their country. I mean, they've just been awarded so many awards. And the Mizuno, they even started engraving the logo on the blades. Now they're in their fifth generation. And, you know, there's a line like right on the edge. It's a hairline where you can actually, it's not just, let me see, let me see. Let me see if there's a hairline on this. Let's see if it's mono steel. I think this is 100% mono steel. So it's 100% made out. Let me see if there is a, We just got that little bit of packing. Still okay, so we're gonna pause and let's wash that real fast. Okay. Hey, we're back. So <laughs> we are back. So we did some cleaning, but we didn't wanna touch the edge because we definitely wanna do an edge test. Um, but what I wanted to say is they use 100% pure Swedish stainless steel. And this has a Rockwell hardness of 59 to 60. Okay, so, um, but it's a mono steel. Some people, uh, some, a lot of other companies might do the cladding itself where you're going to actually have like a softer stainless on the outside. And if you remember um, Shikafusa, like I said, they like to use Swedish steel and they'll actually clad theirs. But this is a mono steel. And if you're familiar with uh, Masamoto KS, this has that Masamoto KS kind of a look to it. Um, but just to be absolutely ridiculous, we've got some foods out that we're going to cut. But first, we're going to do our paper, like let's hear it do its thing. And there was um, a line thing that we were looking for earlier. So we were talking about like, so I was looking to see if there was a line for cladding and, and there wasn't. That's what we, we stopped cleaning it. We got some oil. There's a little bit of a place where we still have to do some cleaning. But again, we didn't want to rough the edge and end up messing up the edge for any testing. So we did some soap and water to kind of wash it, but we didn't want to like mess up the edge. We'll we'll clean it more in a little bit. But this is a mono steel. It is not cladded. Okay, so you know the thing about this in paper. We just want to you never know in shipping how these things are gonna come out of the box. Yep, nice. Schmove. I mean she said schmove. <laughs> I mean, that is. You know what? Wait. You, no. You have to do that first. You oh, my that. gosh. Oh, Greg. It does. She, my wife is, you know, I think we'll be fine on the best. We don't need, like, you know, a six. <laughs> okay. I was terrified to wash it, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, washing it's kind of sketchy because we're afraid that we're going to damage the edge. And it seems really sharp. <laughs> and by the way, um, for the sake of this, I'm not, you know, people worried about these picks being best certified. The new ones are. Just so you know, for anybody who has questions, the new ones are. And it saves me from having to constantly kind of update. So we want to get a score. Let me light this puppy up. Okay. So now remember that the best is a tool, it is not the standard. So we're just getting a score based on like the placement of this. So we're just going to let the knife drop. So we got a 117. Uh, if you don't, if you didn't notice, I let the knife rest. Because it's so heavy. I mean, you don't but I'm just saying I didn't have to press. No. I let the knife itself rest. Right. 117. One more. Okay, my wife's like, let's spend some money. Let's double check it. I love it. It's always good to have the wife on your side. We always do it twice. 
Yeah, I mean, it's good to get the two. Okay, so we got it set. We're gonna put the knife in there. And we're gonna like let the knife, I'm literally letting the knife rest. Holy shit, sorry. <laughs> yeah, and it did it a 97. I mean, it's broken, it's broken. It was a 97. Yeah. It was, oh, yeah. yeah, it was broken. Sorry, and that was just letting the knife rest. That's, you know, like she said, the weight of the knife. So it's sharp. Now let's go back to the paper. The paper was no cool. Wonder. No wonder the paper sounded The so paper good. was just like, it's just quiet. And that's the jaggedy side. That's the, okay. I mean, I'm excited. I'm excited that the machete is like, it just, food is gonna just decide to be split in half. Watch your hand. <laughs> you're watching the paper, you're not watching your hand. Okay, push, let's push, let's do some push. Push. It's so nice. Yes. Yes and yes. Scary. Yes. So let's cut up something ridiculously small. Just to be, you know, ridiculous. Like that pepper that's lying next to you? Perhaps. So we have a jalapeno because my wife is cooking. So it's nice, right? So we're going to. And there's that little pepper with that big old knife. Can you see like a reflection? I don't even feel the dang yeah. pepper. Yeah, you can. I'm like really being careful not to lose a finger right now. I'm like, yeah, we ain't got okay, time. we ain't got time for that. She's like. It's still stuck to the other part of the knife, the back of the knife. Half I'm like slices. making sure my finger's out of the way. Half your slices are still back there, baby. Okay, baby. Our friends at home can see that. You know, it is what it is. I'm a little bit nervous. You know? I mean, I won't feel it when I leave half my finger on the cutting board. I prefer not to have that on video for our followers. They, they might pull our channel. <laughs> Let's not have that. Okay, so that was something delicate. Let's get these little baby carrots. Okay, remember when you have a sharp knife, use the back of your knife. Don't use your edge and scrape. I would still do it accidentally sometimes. Try not to. Okay. Okay, so this is a little little baby carrot. I'm just getting like super crazy thin, right? Yep. It's all sticking to the knife. So it doesn't have good release. Well, I mean, it's a tiny... The release is going to be more on the, the like potato. potato. Okay. <laughs> We're making shapes and... Yeah, you wouldn't see your finger blend in with the carrot pulp. Yeah, no, it's going to be nice. Oh, stop. You're freaking me out. Yeah. Look at how thin those are. Little, little carrot shavings. Little carrot confetti. Yes. Okay. But this beast is really going to be more of a workhorse for some larger things, honestly. We know that. We were being ridiculous. Um, we were being ridiculous for the sake of, you know, like cutting some chives. Right? You know, get your 300 millimeter guto out. Okay, but let's get to the potato. Okay, so let's go ahead and like, I mean, I felt nothing. It was like butter instead of a potato? It was like butter. I'm wondering. No, dear Jesus. I mean, I'm wondering. I don't know if that could happen. <laughs> this is not a cooked potato, people. I didn't even know that was possible. Who knew? Oh! Potato paper. Potato paper. Okay, yeah, I got to get a blueberry out now. Look at him. He's so excited. I mean, that's crazy. That's crazy. This is not This is not a cooked potato, people. It's a this raw is, potato. That is a raw potato. And it's got a funky spot on it. But it's Holy a, mackerel. Like. Holy. Not go, a cooked potato. <laughs> All right, when you guys witness the um, the inside of the refrigerator, just remember we're healthy eaters. Okay. So. They can't, they can't see that. Oh, you're pulling the camera aside. What is that? <laughs> Sorry, guys. 
guys. Camera. Malfunction. Malfunction. Okay, we're, we'll, we're, we're editing. We're getting it. We're getting it. Okay, you there? Uh, okay, it's okay. It's You know, it's organic. The show's live, you know? <laughs> okay, wow. Just wow? Oh, but that potato starts on at night, though. I, I hear you, baby. It's like okay, you, you know? Just, it's just nice. Like, Why are you trying to cut the just because we want to see. Just be a little. You did it again. <laughs> okay, there's all the. You got this lock, honey. You got this lock, okay? Hopefully, that you might be using my camera for that. Yeah, we'll be on whatever you got. This is happening. Okay. not sticking to anything the what we do is is we cut part of the blueberry off we stick it down it's like how do you even do this the knife's so big well that's what i was saying i don't know that you can because the weight of the knife itself no the knife is just too heavy I don't believe it. Oh, Lord. I think what it is is I've got it way out there. No. Okay, one more. <sighs> okay, blueberry. Yeah, yeah we, we had it. Put a little edge on it. Oh, yeah. Lord, folks, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, some of that's pinning it and everything like that, but still, out of the box. Give me a potato paper for the first time. Potato paper. All right, so the moral to the story is look at that monster. Like, oh, my gosh. Like, are you seeing my face, people? Okay. So, Mizuno. You forgot about them? Don't. They're amazing. I'm so happy. Swedish steel, stainless. Stains less. It's not stain. No, stain less. You know, it's not. It's a little bit more durable at a 60 hardness. They got it extremely sharp. We saw, nine, what did we see? 97 and 117? We, we, we don't need to sharpen them. No, I mean, it's just beautiful. Anyway, um, JapaneseChefKnives.com. Amazing. Super excited. Love it. This was definitely not a dull moment. <laughs> wow. Thanks for joining in. Always, that was a legendary unboxing.